All right, so this is a follow-up video of my upgrade to my saw stop. Uh, last video I showed the CNC uh, portion of it with the blade raise, the blade tilt, and the fence. Uh, I had the crosscut sled on there, but I didn't have a fence on it, and I didn't have it locked down, so um, just did this modification. This is just a proof of concept to make sure everything was going to work and that my mechanics uh, were working the right way. Uh, this has a locking feature. It's just a spring pin on the side here that locks this table in so it can't move. And then I have this arm here that is firmly attached at the back here. And then it has a slide uh, bolt here that can slide along this to change the angle. And then this pin right here is a, a spring pin. This helps hold it at the zero uh, degree because at this angle, it's just too too uh, close to, to zero, and it can still move just a little bit. Um, I've modified an angle gauge so that the encoder inside the angle gauge actually is attached to a, a pin that is firmly attached to this front fence, and that rotates on a couple of bearings that is mounted to the top and the bottom plate here. So to uh, change the angle on the fence, go ahead and loosen this slide bolt and pull this pin. And then you can go ahead and change the angle. And then you can see as I move this that the angle changes. And this will go all the way to approximately 65 degrees, 64 and a half, something like that, which is, you know, pretty good size angle that you can, that you can get on the saw. And then once you have the angle that you want, so if we want to go ahead and do a 45 degree angle, take it down to 45. And then you just lock that bolt down there slide bolt and then this is this is solid you can go ahead and release this pin on the side and then once that's released then this thing can move freely and you can go ahead and do your cuts that you want make sure this is twisted so it doesn't lock and engage again and then you can see if I go to three inches here this set so that it definitely clears the blade then to put it back let's go ahead and loosen this move this back over to here engage that pin and roll this pin into place again to lock it That locks it at zero. You can see it's at zero right there. And use it as a crosscut sled at zero. Now, if you want to take it off so you can cut other stuff, just go ahead and loosen these two pins here. And then this mechanism just pulls off and it's very small, compact. You don't have a big giant sled that you have to store somewhere and that's all you have to do. So that's the uh, that's the crosscut sled fence that I made for this. And uh, if you have any suggestions, comments, or questions, just leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try to get to them.